Hey guys, welcome back. So you have the brand new Nvidia Shield Pro, or maybe you have the Nvidia Shield Tube Edition, and you just don't like the stock launcher you get. You don't like the fact that they give you all these recommendations. You don't like the fact that it's not very customizable at all. So for example, if you install any third party applications, hardly any of them appear in the apps list, and you have to resort to tactics like using Sideload Launcher to get access to your applications and in terms of tweaking there's not really much you can do i mean i can't create any custom folders i can't adjust the size of these tiles i can't really change the wallpaper so it is very very limiting so are there any options well on my shield look what happens when i press the home key we can see i have access to this beautiful launcher we can see i've got all the applications here we can see i've got a folder here with all of my bbc applications for example further down i've got another custom folder with some games i can change the size of these tiles i can change the wallpaper pretty much the options are endless guys so in this video today let me show you how you can also install a custom launcher onto your nvidia shield and get it looking exactly how you like it so with all of that being said let's get started <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so my device is running Shield TV version 8.1.0. And if I do check for a later version, and if I check for an upgrade, for me, this is the latest version currently available. Now, interesting enough, guys, when I first researched into how I can change the launcher on the NVIDIA Shield Pro, I did find a method using this application with the combination of an ADB command, and I was able to then set the default launcher. However, doing some more research, I actually found a much simpler method, and that's the method I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now, to start this process, the first thing you need to do is actually download a custom launcher, and I have about five of these TV launchers available on my website. So if you just open up a browser, or in my case, I'm going to use a download application, let's navigate to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk that's me and the numbers two zero one nine let's type that in and click on go now when you get to my website if you click on the hamburger menu here scroll down and there's a dedicated section for downloads and if you scroll to the bottom of this list i mean there's a lot of stuff here for your android boxes your fire sticks uh, some retro stuff uh, but we can see there is a dedicated section just for Android TV launchers. And in my example, I'm going to be using the ATV launcher. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down. And let's click on the green download button. Let's give that a second. And let's click on install. So all we've done so far is just download a custom launcher and install it. Let's click on done. But of course, if I press the home key, it's still going to use the stock launcher. So how do we change it? Well, if you go over to your settings, go into your applications, let's scroll down, let's click on see all apps, scroll down. And what we're looking for here actually is the system application. So keep scrolling down. Okay, here we go. So we have the option to show system apps. Let's click on that. Let's scroll further down. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the Android TV home app, which is one of the core system apps. And if I click on that and choose the option clear default. So here we're saying we don't want to use the currently set default launcher. We want to choose something else. So let's click on that now. So do you want to clear the defaults? Let's click on OK. OK, so now we have no default launcher set. Watch what happens when I press the home key. And there it is, guys. We now get a prompt asking us which actual application or which actual launcher do you want to use as your default launcher? So no need to mess about with ADB commands or installing custom applications. We can literally just clear one default setting and we can now choose our custom launcher. So there's two things we need to do to set this as the default launcher. First, I'm going to click on just where it says ATV launcher because I'm saying I want to select a different application. Let me click on that now. Now, if I press the home key again, we can see it asks you now, do you want to keep the ATV launcher as your home launcher just once or always. So now I'm going to select the option always. So let's click on that. So what this means now is every time I press the home key, 
we can see we stay in our custom launcher and here it is guys we're now using a custom launcher replacing the stock one and as i was mentioning before there's just so many things we can do in terms of customization in terms of tweaks just to make this exactly how we like it and the very first thing i like to do is bring up the menu option and the way we do that is if you go to the top here then press and hold the home key and let's firstly go to your launcher settings okay let's start by going to applications okay so the first thing we can choose um firstly we can choose a title so if i tick on that we can see it says applications or that's now disappeared let me click on that again and that basically just gives the title for applications on where your applications or where your tiles begin and then we have column count so depending on the size of your tv you may choose to have larger tiles so just a couple of tiles or much smaller tiles so if i click on that now we can see we're currently set to five tiles wide so if i go to the left we can see we now have four so the tiles get much bigger and i think the smallest is actually three so and now we can see we have much larger tiles so it all really just depends on your preference so some of you may prefer to have really large tiles like this but me personally let me go back to the settings so press and hold here let's go to launcher settings go to applications and i personally like to have much smaller tiles because i like to see more on the screen at the same time so um i think six is okay let's go with that and then you have border radius so as we can see at the moment the tiles have a quite sort of sharp or square edges which again some of you may prefer but if i click on that now the more you go to the left for the radius the more sort of square those tiles are and the more you go to the right as we can see we can see that the tiles get much more sort of smoother or rounded off so again i personally prefer the rounded look so i'm going to leave mine as 50. let's click on ok let's back out of that let's go back to the menu let's go to launcher settings so here for example in wallpaper now for you to customize the wallpaper if you just download any wallpaper using your favorite browser or in my example i just used the downloader application um, i went to google.com and just searched for 4k wallpaper now any wallpaper you do download from the application if i click on select wallpaper i'll give this access to browse your files so anything you download from downloader will appear in the downloader folder let's click on that and here we can see some of the wallpapers that i downloaded before so let's say for example we want to go for this uh, road image let's click on that now you can see straight away that the picture doesn't change and sometimes you may get a black screen so the fix for that is if you go back to your settings go to your launcher settings go to wallpaper and make sure you've got this first option set to on because that kind of like forces the wallpaper to refresh itself and appear properly so let's now select that again let's try that now and we see that's working absolutely fine and we now have a beautiful wallpaper giving us a nice presentable looking home screen now the other cool thing you can do with ATV launcher is you can create custom folders so if you like to organize what's on the screen if you want to you know manage the way things are displayed you can also sort things out or organize things into folders and the way we do that is so let's say for example I want to create a folder just for anything to do with gaming or for emulation so if I press and hold on this and click on create folder let's now give that a name so let's just call this gaming okay let's click on apply you do also have the option to password protect a folder so if for whatever reason you may want to put certain content into folders that maybe you don't want anybody else to uh, see you can actually create a password protected folder so unless you know the password you can't see the contents but for now let's leave that as blank and click on apply okay we now have a gaming folder let's now click on this press and hold click on move to folder and let's select the gaming folder okay let's also press and hold on this move to folder gaming and let's lastly add these two over here so press and hold move to folder gaming and then lastly this one okay so now if we look here and if i open this up we can now see those four games which are just in this folder so really easy to organize your stuff now if you want to change the appearance of your custom folders if you press and hold on it go to configure so for example like i can take off the icon but the thing i like to do here guys is just remove the background because i think it just looks better when it's uh, transparent so let's remove the background click on apply and there is our gaming folder guys so you can see it really is very very easy to customize and you really can make this look exactly how you like it even basic things like if i want to move this application to the top let's press and hold click on move i can now 
move that over there. So again, very easy. And last, if you want to go to the next level, you can also enable widgets. Now, these will actually require you to enter in an ADB command. Now, if I just press and hold here and click on pick a widget, let's just choose one of these. We can see we get this message here, but it actually tells you the ADB command you need to type in to give that permission. Now, I'm not going to show that in this video because I'm trying to make this one as simple as possible. But if you guys are interested in that, in some of the more advanced stuff, then please do leave me a comment below and I'll put something together. Okay, let's back out of that. And lastly, how do we go back to the stock launcher? Well, the easiest way to do that is if you press and hold here, go to your Android settings, go back to your apps, find your custom launcher that you've installed, click on that. Click on full stop, click on uninstall. And now when you press the home key and we're back to the home launcher. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, more stuff for the Nvidia Shield or the 4K Fire Stick or the second generation Fire TV Cube or your generic Android boxes, then please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.